File Overview The Foundation is not the only group with an interest and investment in the paranormal and metaphysical. There are many other groups in existence who possess, use, or attempt to create SCP objects, either for their own personal gain or for the protection of mankind. Some are rival organizations, some are splinter groups of the Foundation, and some are trusted associates of the Foundation. In any case, it has been deemed necessary to create and distribute a brief on what agencies the Foundation knows about and our stance towards them. MANA Charitable Foundation Overview Established in 1971 as an interfaith humanitarian relief agency, recovered documents describe the MANA Charitable Foundation's mission as sharing all of God's miracles with the least of His children, funded indirectly through associations with various charitable groups and religious organizations, and on occasion publicly endorsed by wealthy philanthropists or academic institutions. The MCF's primary agenda since its founding has been the free distribution of anomalous objects or their byproducts to civilians living in poverty-stricken regions in the Third World or in areas afflicted by warfare, famine, or natural disaster. The MCF is currently recognized as a non-governmental organization by the United Nations and is known to operate legally and illegally in several hostile or isolated regions outside the Foundation's sphere of influence. While no SCB objects known to have been distributed by the MCF to date have caused intentional harm to human beings or communities, and detained MCF operatives tend to demonstrate strong pacifist beliefs. Containment breaches associated with the group have often resulted in human casualties or severe threats to the global status quo due to unforeseen consequences of the object's release from containment and or a zeal to distribute potentially helpful objects immediately without rigorous scientific study of their long-term behavior. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited Overview A club based in London, England Catering to the super-rich and with extensive political and financial ties worldwide, this group has caused extensive problems for the Foundation. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited is known for collecting rare and obscure items, along with providing its members the most exclusive, expensive, and rare experiences available. These activities have resulted in conflict with the Foundation on numerous occasions. The group is not known for the use of force. They prefer to apply extreme financial and political pressure to achieve their goals. When forced to use more direct means, Marshall Carter and Dark Limited employs outside agents, and it is very difficult to connect said agents to the organization. Marshall Carter and Dark Limited has caused several SCP containment breaches, primarily through the use of money or social pressure. Several reports, records, and even items have been leaked by Foundation personnel who had been approached with large amounts of money or threats of extensive jail time or torture. Notably, two containment sites were almost brought to public attention after the Foundation refused access to members of Marshall, Carter, and Dark Limited. Information pertaining to Marshall, Carter, and Dark Limited, such as the name of the director or even a list of members, has proven very difficult to acquire. Agents encountering members of this group are advised to maintain a cover story and not, for any reason, reveal Foundation ties or SCP information. Nobody. Overview. Little is known about the person, entity, or group known as Nobody. First sighted in 1954, they have had numerous appearances since. There has only been one person seen at any given time, typically described as a male Caucasian dressed in a grey suit and a fedora. If asked his identity, he replies that he's Nobody. However, it is not known if this is the work of a single person or multiple agents of a single unknown agency. Their agenda is currently unknown, sometimes helping the Foundation, sometimes hindering it. Caution is recommended if any field agents encounter an operative identifying themselves as nobody. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.